Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back, you guys. Welcome to the video where we are finally going to sit down and to talk about the newest launch from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. We have her new blush and bronzer duos. We've got her new luminous powder, her highlighters. Now, because this review is coming in so much later than I had originally intended, I am going to be doing it a little bit differently, and uh, we're just going to be doing it more of a bullet point style. So it's going to have kind of my thoughts, my opinions, applications, swatches, and uh, that way I can kind of guide you through my thought process with this without it, you know, hopefully taking forever. But before we get going into that, if you are new here, I just want to take a second, pause, and introduce myself. My name is Paige. Again, this is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, typically right around like 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then also, if you haven't done so yet, I would really, really appreciate it if you would take a second um, and follow me over on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below, but I am trying to hit 10,000 followers over there as well as uh, uploading a ton, a ton of content. I have everything from makeup to um, plus size fashion to styling tips. And then over there too, if you're into like the community aspect, you want to know what's going on with me in my day to day life, or if you just want, you know, a little bit, a little bit more content, um, I hang out a ton in the Insta stories where I do everything with you guys. We go for walks, we go shopping, we do um, little PR unboxings, regular unboxings, we take polls, we tell, we tell stories, just really whatever's going on. Sometimes we end up dancing in cars. You just, you really never know what you're going to get. And I just really love being over there. I like the sense of community. I love building that with you guys. Um, so if you want to check it out, again, everything will be linked down below. I would really appreciate it. And uh, also too, down below, I will have linked uh, this shirt, which I'm freaking obsessed with. It is so cute. I just got this from Tord. And uh, I'll have this link down below. I'll have all the other makeup that I'm wearing, of course, linked down below. But from there, I think that that's everything. So I actually want to drift in next to application. I'm going to be going in with this palette. This is the Sun Kissed Bronze Moment. And out of the four that I have, which again, you'll see swatched here in a bit, um, I do feel like this one is going to hit the best, not only with my skin tone right now, but also with, you know, the natural lighting that I have coming in. I really want whatever I apply to show up as good as possible on camera. And so I think that this one is going to be good for that. So let's go ahead and start here. I'm going to go in with the bronzer first, which again is in Sun Kissed. And I'm going to be applying this with a clean, a clean brush. Okay. I actually went through and uh, cleaned, washed all of these for today. So this is my clean little fluffy duo fiber from It Cosmetics. This is their 202 Flawless Powder. And I am going to just very gently here, dabble, dibble, dabble into it. I love applying my bronzers um, with duo fibers. I'm just starting with this one back here toward the temples and kind of lightly pulling it down. I wanted to get a little bit built up so you guys could see it on camera. But the actual texture of um, these bronzers and blushes um, and even her highlighters are absolutely beautiful. I think if there's one thing that is standout about them, if there's one thing that you take away from this review, um, let it be that her texture and her formula is on point. Like it's so good. It's super smooth. And uh, it's actually made, if I don't miss my guess, I think it's made in Italy, isn't it? Yeah, made in Italy. And uh, you can definitely tell that these from powder to press to the actual formula itself, you can really tell that uh, there's a lot of work and a lot of, um, a lot of craft to these because they don't feel like a standard, you know, bronzer or blush or highlight formula. They do feel, um, really nice, beautifully refined. And that for me was something especially with her um, her old highlighter palette, which I have right here. This was the Flash palette, and uh, this is one of my all-time favorite highlights. I still use it all the time, which is why it's like literally right here, and um, I think that's the thing with Jaclyn to take away from any of her press products that she's ever come out with is that she does concentrate on having a really beautiful light mill because Jaclyn, I think, if nothing else, is known for having like stunning complexion, like really wanting it to look airbrushed and flawless. So for me, I really wasn't too surprised um, that these were as soft as they were because I think it is a really important part of her brand that things have that soft touch texture that they photograph, you know, really beautiful but also very, very airbrushed in a sense. From here, I'm going to go into the blush, which I just realized is the shade Sunkissed. I think bronze moment was probably the bronzer, but I'm going to go into this one here nonetheless, and this is the It Cosmetics Chic Blush Brush, and I am going to start back here, pull it down a little bit onto the cheek. And again, same as I just said with the bronzer, the blushes are very, very workable. You can see just in going back over them with one additional pass, you are able to build up product beautifully. They look absolutely gorgeous. And I love too with these, because they are a finer mill, when you're building up the product, they don't start to feel like heavy or cumbersome on your skin. So that being said, if you are someone that uh, doesn't like to set your face, I do think that you would still really enjoy these because the texture of them is so light and airy and they blend out 
out so nicely that I don't think they're really going to mess with your uh, your finish, whether that's, you know, dewy or satin or wh whatever you're going for. These aren't the type of powder that um, has, has like a powdery feel to them to where they would mattify and take away that sheen. They're just going to give you the, the color that you're looking for, but be so light and airy that you don't even know they're there. All right, now really quick from here too, I'm just throwing on some of the bronzer all over the lid. Um, the same one that I just used all over the face, lightly blending that all over and through the crease. And uh, if you notice too, I just put on a little bit of the Lift and Luminate powder from number seven just to lightly shape the face. All right, so I just went ahead and wiped off all the bake. And before I go in with the highlighters from her collection, I do wanna set my face down really quick here with a little bit of the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better setting spray. So now going into the highlight, it just occurred to me, I haven't touched on the packaging at all yet for any of these, and the packaging is absolutely stunning. Like this, she designs some of the most gorgeously presented products I think I've ever seen, and I mean, or maybe that's just my opinion. I don't know. You guys can let me know down below, but I think these are absolutely stunning. I just love how reflective they are and how the packaging itself feels so, um, so, so quality. Like there, there's nothing about these that feel like an afterthought, and I love that the product itself is actually beveled. By the way, this is true of not only the highlighters, but also true of the uh, duos. This is just one of the bronzer duos. The products inside here are beveled as well. It has this really nice little nameplate. The uh, packaging still has this raised J. Everything uh, also too has a great closure. Like the snap feels really good, very hearty. It just really feels like it could withstand some shit. You know what I mean? Like it just, it feels like it could go through it and like it would be okay. Like it, it would come out the other side if it accidentally, you know, got tossed in a makeup bag or it got, it got, you know, crunched around a little bit. I just feel like it has a enough ass to it that it could survive. But anyways, getting back into the highlights, I have the shade Iced and Sparks. Sparks is the slightly lighter, I would say more yellow toned one. And I just went ahead and swatched them right here. Again, this one is Sparks. This one is Iced. Now, I did go ahead and swatch those on my palm. That way I'd have a little bit easier time moving them around because with her highlights, I think one of the most beautiful things about them, um, again, if you, the highlighter formula is true to the, her original, is that they have such a beautiful movement and a, like a a buildable wet look to them but at the same time because they are so fine and so like beautifully milled you can shear them down if that's more your thing like if you wanted to have more of a natural glaze across the cheeks you can do that too and this is something I actually recently tested really wanting to see like how um how well these shear down and the other day I went in with just my ColourPop Pretty Fresh like I just used again just a regular skin tint and I paired her highlight with it and I was actually really impressed at how nicely um you you can apply it and still have that beautiful lit from within sheen just with a very, very light hand. So again, her products are more multifaceted than some other like really blinding um, highlights. Nonetheless, getting back into these here again, this is the shade Sparks. It has more of that yellow tone to it. And then the shade right next to it, which has more of like a pink champagne-y kind of vibe, that is the shade Iced. And uh, both shades are beautiful. I can wear both on my skin tone. And I just want to say too, if you do have her original palette, you will see that the shade Sparks is actually in here. And I think that the two shades are very similar. The one out of the palette does look to be, I put it right here next to it, it does look to be a little bit more reflective, like it has a little bit more intensity, and um, it has a slightly brighter yellow to it. So the tones themselves are a little bit different, but once you apply them to the skin, at least on my skin tone, they looked exactly the same. I couldn't really tell a difference. So if you do have um, this original palette, I don't think that you would need the new shade Sparks. The shade Iced, which is also in the palette, palette right here. So this is Iced, this is Sparks. You can see, I think, a little better the undertone difference. But the shade Iced on here, when you swatch that against the individual, that one is basically identical. They have the same undertone, the same hue, the same brightness, and even the feel of them is very, very consistent. Now, really quick, too, I wanted to touch on her Luminous Powder, which this is um, kind of like a loose, glowy powder versus being like a straight-on intense highlight powder. And this is actually really, really beautiful. I'm going to apply a pretty generous amount here on my hand just so you guys can hopefully get a shot of the um, the nice gleam that you get. For me, I find that this shade specifically is a little bit too deep for me. So in order for me to uh, use this, I do have to put it under like a more um, a more pointed or brighter highlight for my skin tone. So for today, I figured what I would do for application of both of these uh, because I want you to see how I would actually get use out of them, but I also want you to see how the products would perform. So I'm going to dip into the Luminous Powder here, and I'm taking this on an it Cosmetics Unstoppable Powder Brush, and I'm just going to very lightly tap it off. I just want a teeny little amount, and I am going to start this up a little bit higher on my cheekbones, right in this region here. 
and kind of lightly blend it down. You can just see that it gives more of, as the name would suggest, more of a luminous glow to the cheek, kind of that lit from within look. But because it is a freckle too deep for me, it does cast me um, pretty intensely right up in this region. So what I like to do is just kind of go through, really buff it into my skin right in this region. Make sure that um, it doesn't leave me like super emphasized. I don't, I don't want there to be this big swatch of like gold luminous powder, but I still like it to be more of a veiling effect over my blush because then what I like to do is actually go in here with a targeted brush. This is just a BH number 18 and I like to very lightly kind of hit the tops of my cheekbones. You can see that it just adds like that really, you know, intense highlight that I'm looking for and then I'll go in and lightly blend the two together again down onto the blush. Now on this side I want to show you guys just the highlight by itself. Again, this is the shade Sparks. I'm just gonna take and run that all along here. You can see that when you apply it by itself, it is something you can apply with a light hand and uh, you'll still get a beautiful payoff. I'm actually gonna go in here and lightly buff that out just so that way I don't have such an intense little stripe right there. I'm also gonna go in and just add a touch of the shade Iced over top. This is again that more like champagne-y pink shade. And then I'm also taking the shade Iced here and uh, putting that on the brow bone and a little bit on the inner eye just to give me a little bit of that natural kind of lift. And I think for me, that's the hardest part between these two shades and something that, again, when I have the palette, when I'm using that, the reason that it works so much better is that between these two, I love the undertone of this one, the, the shade Iced. I love this one because it has such a, a tone that just pulls so flattering with my skin, like using it on my brow bone, my inner eye, my inner corner rather. It just, it looks so, so perfect, like it belongs on my skin. But then it also can work against me because this shade by itself on like my skin, you know, right here, for example, um, it can be a little bit too deep for me depending on like foundation or if I've been out in the sun, whatever, which for me is where I end up coming in with the shade Sparks because Sparks has the lightness and the brightness that I need, even though I don't necessarily love the undertone of it. You know, it, it has like that yellow pull that I'm not a huge fan of, um, but combining the two, as you can see, it works really, really well on my skin tone. All right, now at this point, we are gonna go ahead and finish up the face. So I'm just gonna spray one final time here with my Catrice Dewy Glow Setting Spray just to lock everything together. All right, now from here, while that's drying down, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara, a little bit of lip, you know, just a nice natural round out. And at that point, we're gonna go ahead and move into swatches and uh, give you guys my final thoughts. So hang tight and I will be right back. All right, you guys, so obviously now that the full face is done and applied, let's go ahead and get into the swatches, which I did just go ahead and swatch, obviously, on my arm here. And we're gonna get into the names. I'm gonna move the camera in, but I just wanted you guys to have a full escape of all the shades. I believe I picked up out of the collection the lightest four. And this one right here at the very bottom is actually the palette that I applied today. So just so you guys can kind of see all of them together, I want to give you um, a far away look so you can just see kind of what you're working with here. And then of course I want to give it to you up close as well. So right here, like I said before, I'm going to start at the end. This is the shade that I went in with, which is this palette right here, Sunkissed and Bronze Moment. And then right next to that we have have the duo in Lilac Love and Top Tan, which, I mean, as you can see, has more of the purpley toned blush to it, which is a surprisingly workable color. I was a little bit apprehensive about this one, but I really like it. And then right next to that, we have the duo Pink Me Up and Oh Honey, which does have a slightly warmer toned uh, bronzer with a really nice baby pink blush. All right now, last up here, we have this duo. Now, this one for me is kind of a conundrum because this is the Golden Goddess and Warm Flush duo. And of these two shades, I really, really love the bronzer. I love that it has more of that coral pull, but the bronzer is a little bit too warm for me. It's not, it's not a little bit, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a little bit, a lot of it too warm for me. So I have to be really, really mindful with that shade, but that blush is absolutely stunning. And I just, I don't know, there's something about the coral mixture with that satin sheen that I love. But uh, those right there, again, those are all four of the shades, just so you can have one more little shot of them. And then up close too, I wanted to make sure that I gave you a nice shot of the highlights. So right here again, we have sparks and then iced on this side. Super beautiful, very reflective. But at this distance, I think you can really judge the undertone difference I was talking about. And then while we're up close too, I keep having to move around because it's trying to focus on me, but <laughs> it's, trying to focus, it's trying to focus on my superstar self. But uh, I wanted to also give you a little shot here of the luminous powder up against both of those. Now this is a pretty generous swatch, so imagine it a little bit more diffused but uh, this shade right here, you can see in comparison to the other two why it is just a 
little bit too deep for me, but it still has a really nice reflection and like overall glow to it. All right, you guys, so at this point, I wanna go ahead and move into my final overall thoughts. And starting off here, I actually really enjoy these bronzer blush duos. I think they're really good. The quality is, like I said before, amazingly consistent. I love the texture. It does have more of that, you know, baked kind of vibe to it. So the actual build and the blend is very nice, very refined. And I think for the price, I just wanted to look it up here. These do retail for $36 and they come in seven shades, which we're going to talk on that here in a second. But for $36 bucks, um, to have a powder that's this beautiful, this light and airy and uh, coming in, it looks like you get four grams of the blush, five of the bronzer. And again, made in Italy. I think overall the price for what you're getting is definitely there. Packaging, the big old beefy ass mirror, um, just everything about these really does scream worth it for me personally. But I do want to touch really briefly on the shades in this collection because I struggle with the fact that I am, like I said before, okay, I'm like as white as this damn wall. I could, I could blend in like a fucking chameleon. And uh, I really struggle with the fact that I bought four of the, um, of the little shade duos here. And the fact that they're all this light and look that similar for me, I really do struggle with because I wish there had been more of a, um, a wider range across the duo. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, I'm not sure what the medium to deep ones look like, but I can just say like for there being this many that look this similar, I'm not sure if that's going to be diverse enough to cover multiple skin tones. Um, again, also keeping in mind that prior to my review, I don't watch other people's reviews. So maybe this has been touched on and alluded to elsewhere or, you know, maybe other videos have been made. I just don't know. But for me, that's something that I just wanted to mention because again, this right here, like that, that's a little bit, a little bit repetitive. I feel like, don't get me wrong. She changed the undertone and the actual intensity, but it is a lot in the same family for being that much of the range. So that's my only issue there. Again, everything else is good as far as the quality of the product. And then from there too, onto the highlight, these are $29 a piece. And these, the quality of, like I said before, is absolutely fantastic. I think for 29 bucks, it's a great, great option. Now, I also want to mention uh, with these that if you don't want to put out the $29, they do have a mini version of these as well in two shades. The, this shade Iced and the shade Awestruck both come in a mini for $16. And when those restock, because honestly, you need such, such a little amount of this highlighter, um, I would actually recommend going with the mini unless you plan to wear it like day in, day out all the time. I think that the mini would be more than enough product to last you a very, very long time. And uh, that way you don't have to put out all the money for that one. So just throwing that out there. Uh, but for me, as far as the formula goes, the quality, everything is still on point. And the last thing I wanted to touch on here is the luminous powder. And while I do appreciate like the, the packaging, the actual product itself does look really nice. I still have it there. It's glowing nice and bright. Uh, but the shade here is too dark for me. So I really struggle with giving you like my overall thoughts on is this worth it or not, because I can't really wear it by itself. So for me, that one isn't necessarily worth it, but it's not so much a formula issue as it is like a, my skin tone is too damn light and pasty issue. Um, so for me, that one's, you know, kind of a, a hit or miss pass depending on your skin tone and your preference. But the actual quality of the product, again, is really, really nice. Now, I did mention at the start of this video that I had a couple of other, not necessarily dupes because they're not dupes for shades, but uh, the formulas I think are kind of similar. And the biggest one, and I'm sure other people have noted this as well, the biggest one is Hourglass. I think that the refinement you find in Hourglass powders and the silky kind of lightweight texture that they have is very, very similar to the ones um, that you see with Jaclyn Cosmetics. It has that same, again, kind of an airbrushed finishing powder kind of effect. And uh, these are absolutely beautiful. I, Hourglass anything, whether it is their ambient powders, their blushes, their highlights, their bronzers, they are all absolutely beautiful. And they do have more of that um, baked kind of vibe to them as well. And then I couldn't find my full size, so don't make fun of me. But uh, this little Milani baked blush here, this formula did give me a lot of the same um, feeling that I was getting from the Jaclyn blushes. It has a very like nice, lightweight, again, baked texture to it. Very airy, very glowy. And this one right here is in the shade Luminoso. So it is, it is, it is quite glowy, but uh, the same texture and kind of concept applies. So maybe if you're wanting something similar at a drugstore price, this could be a good option there. Now this one, I don't think is baked, the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula, but I wanted to throw it out there because if you're looking for that lightweight texture, um, this is a really nice option at the drugstore. Again, it's not going to have like that, um, that finishing powder texture that the, um, the Hourglass or that Luminoso blush I was talking about. It's not going to have that baked uh, airbrush refinement to it, but as a powder, it is a really, really nice lightweight feeling that you can blend and work with. And I think that they have these in, I want to say maybe five shades now, five or six shades, something like that. So there is a little bit more room 
for the build, the blend, the buff, and all that kind of stuff. And then I also wanted to mention this one here from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Bar of Gold highlighting palette. <laughs> Mine is a little bit busted and crusted because I have loved this for a long time. Uh, but I wanted to mention this just in case you already have it in your collection. I don't know. I don't know if they still make this one. Obviously, if I can, I'll link it down below. But, um, and uh, by the way, anything that I talk about that I can link, I will have linked down below. But uh, this highlight palette specifically, I really do enjoy. I love that it has all three of these tones in it. And I noticed that formula-wise, this actually reminded me a lot of the Jaclyn ones because, again, it has that really nice, soft, baked kind of texture to it. And then I went through and I actually swatched the uh, palette from Charlotte Tilbury up against, which it'll be hard to see at this level, but I swatched the palette from Charlotte up against the two shades from Jaclyn, and I was actually really surprised to find that the two shades in there are very similar to both of these shades right here, the Iced and Spark. So if you already have this palette from Charlotte, just know that these two shades right here, which you can kind of even see having a more yellow-based undertone, that more champagne-y pink undertone, these are very, very similar to, um, to the two shades that I talked about. I also wanted to mention on the bronzer side here, this is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer, and texture-wise, this one also reminds me um, of the bronzers in her palette. Even though those ones aren't as luminous as this one, it still has that same uh, really nice, uh, buildable, workable, soft texture. As, as I've said a thousand times, who's sick of it? Oh my god, I should have made this a drinking game. Everybody would be drunk or really, really full of coffee by now. But all right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you liked it. I really hope it was helpful, and um, I really hope that that last part was helpful, too. I know it's kind of weird um, when they're not, like, exact dupes necessarily, but more than anything, I wanted to give you guys a benchmark for, like, the, the texture and the feel of these because I find that for me, and I don't, maybe this is just a me thing, um, you guys can tell me down below if it is, but uh, I find that for me, a lot of times it's really helpful to have that benchmark comparison, like, hey, the texture of this reminds me of this, or, you know, this reminds me of that. Like, there, there there's a lot of power in having that type of, um, that type of relation to a product for me. And don't get me wrong, do I know that, obviously, you know, the Milani Baked Blush, which is only a couple dollars, is it going to be the same as this, you know, really luxurious, beautiful blush from Jaclyn Hill that's made in Italy? No, of course it's not going to be the same, but knowing that it's a similar formula with a similar texture, you know, you can kind of judge that for yourself and make that, um, make that connection, see if it's something that you want to try, see if it's worth, you know, your money, or maybe you're just like, hey, I don't care about that, I don't care about that texture more than any other, and it doesn't matter to you. But anyways, like I said, I just hope it was all helpful. You guys can, of course, sound off down in the comments, let me know all of your thoughts, and also let me know, too, if you picked these up, how are you feeling about them? Like, do you, do you enjoy the lightweight, the texture, and all of the, those things, or does that not really, um, does, does that texture not really work for you? Because for me, I'm really loving it. Like, I think my skin, when I use these, it just looks so nice and so, like, airbrushed, so naturally crisp, okay? It just looks so damn good, and uh, I really like them, but I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Are they working for you? Thoughts, opinions? Uh, leave that in the comments. Like I said before, I'll have everything that I can linked in the description box. Also, don't forget, of course, you can subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Like I said before, I upload three videos a week for the most part, so stay tuned for those. But you guys, I think from there, that is everything. Thank you all again so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope you all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, so for anybody that didn't watch my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty video, in that video, okay, I was talking about these nerd little chewy things, and um, I was comparing them to the Nerd Gummy Clusters, which are these right here, and because I ate all the rest of them. So for today's video, I had to snack on these. And um, I just wanted to show you a picture of the bag. You guys, these things are delicious. They're like little gummies coated in nerds, and they are truly truly freaking spectacular. I think what's so interesting about them is that even though they're a similar concept, they have such a different taste from the Nerd Big Chews because the Big Chews are like an individual flavor each. Like well, this one is grape, this one is, you know, lemon or whatever, and they each have their own flavor. But these are like the classic Nerds all coated on the outside of a gummy. So you get the classic Nerd flavor but with the satisfaction of the little squish on the inside, which is a different flavor. And it's just so so damn good. Like, they're, they're just both so different, and I love them both, and I'm almost out of these, and then I'm all out of nerd candies, and then, <laughs> no, we're gonna have a problem. All right, editing page, let's go. Let's talk about the other things that are on your face, okay? First off, you got the NYX, uh -uh, the NYX Marshmallow Primer. Oh, yeah, then from there you have the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. <laughs> Big surprise. 
also have on the uh, Chantecaille Perfect Blur Finishing Powder, which you, you cannot link. You cannot link because it's not available. I don't think, I don't think I can link. And the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean. Okay, it is the clean, not the dirty. We don't have no dirty lash blast. Okay, we got the clean. It's clean. Okay, well, the bottle's definitely not clean. Okay, I would not lick it. Let me put it that way. Should that really be the measure by which we measure? What? Should that be the measure? But should that be the measure by which we measure? <laughs> oui, oui. I need another nerd. 